todos, bienvenidos al videoblog de Acuico News. Esta semana tuvimos el placer de ser invitados especiales al lanzamiento del proyecto U, Youth Organization in Uniform. A continuación, las palabras del alcalde de Lambeth y personas que asistieron a este evento. Hola, bienvenidos. Y bienvenidos a Lambeth. The Lambeth, the most diverse place on earth. <laughs> Because one of the key features of this borough is you know, we are one of the most diverse boroughs in the country. And it's, it's something which we proudly celebrate. And on this occasion, you know, I would like to pay very, very special tribute to you, YOUU, -U, Youth Organization in uniform. A very special tribute to you and a very special thank you for all the great work you are doing day in and day out serving our communities. Now, you know, um, one of the big challenges facing our borough is need population. I'm sure uh, need is uh, not in education, training, employment. So a teenager who is not in education, training or employment is a risk to himself, he is a risk to the community and he is a risk to everyone. So you, the organizations like you, have been actively engaging young people throughout the world. And this is something, you know, an amazing work, which I have seen myself. Uh, you were at the Walk Stock, uh, Stockwell Expo, they were at the Vauxhall Expo, and they go and they recruit youngsters and show a positive direction. So steer them into positive direction. So giving young people that there are opportunities if they want to become army cadets or if they want to go to St. John's Ambulance or if they want to become girl guides. So that's, that's, that, that's such a, it, it's a, it's a, such a wonderful uh, you know, service that you is doing to the community. And on behalf, on behalf of Lambeth residents and on behalf of Lambeth Council, once again, I pay my special tribute to you and thank you very much. Good evening. I'm, I'm actually a pilot officer in the Royal Air Force Reserves and I run an air cadet squadron in Lambeth, which is 50th Lambeth Squadron. These are some of my cadets here. I don't know if you can move the camera. Um, and um, I'm here today supporting the Project U initiative and that's the uh, youth organisations in uniform um, and we're part of we're part of youth in, youth organisations in uniform in Lambeth. Basically it's an initiative that's been set up uh, in partnership with the Metropolitan Police as well as the um, I'm guessing the government as well as um, Boris Johnson is very much behind it and it's it's each borough has a Project U, basically, um, and it's for all of the organisations that are in uniform to come together and take it forward, work together to sort of meet their needs. So it could be different for some organisations, it could be that they need more young people to join. In our instance at 50F, we're quite desperate for adult volunteers, um, uh, and at the moment we've got a strength of about 35 or so cadets, but only four members of staff, so you can imagine it's pretty tough. But for other units, obviously they have different problems and it's about meeting together to try and solve those collectively. Each organisation, I'm sure they've got their different uh, avenues of joining. Um, the Air Cadets, you can, if you're interested in finding out more or volunteering, you can go on to the website, on www.aircadets.org um, and there you find more information on um, joining up and where you can go and where your lo local squadron is and how you can take part. is a nationwide project but it's, it goes into, into um, areas, so it goes into specific provinces. So in London here it's split into 33 different sections, Lambeth being one of them. It's an initiative started by Prince Charles uh, under his belief that young people 
who potentially could be drawn into gangs because they feel that they want a sense of identity and a sense of uh, belonging could just as easily be turned into um, something more productive through a different kind of teamwork and a different kind of belonging through a uniformed activity such as one of the seven uh, youth organisations here today. People can take part very easily. All they have to do is get in touch with their local squadron and there are websites um, everywhere. If you just click on and just say Sea Cadets or um, Air Force, you will find a whole list of opportunities for young people to get involved. It has to be said though that there is a, a waiting list for these activities because they're very popular, they're both fun and adventurous um, and therefore there's a long waiting list and what we need most of all, if anybody's out there listening to this, is more adult volunteers to come forward so that these young people can operate within a safe and constructive environment. New London has been in existence now for a couple of years and has taken that time to really get going. But now that it's established, we can see it running for the long haul. I think it's really good. Like it's a really good way to like get out and let other youths know about what we do and like encourage them to come in because we're a youth organisation and we're just here for youth and it wouldn't go as far without youth. Tell us how you actually got involved with the Air Corps. Oh, I got referred by school because I needed discipline. So, yeah. So because of good behaviour. <laughs> you could say that, yeah. What do you do on a daily basis on the Air Corps? Um, well, we parade Mondays and Thursdays. We'd go down, do some drill, leadership exercises, exams learn how to shoot pretty much everything which one is your favorite part i think flying yeah would you recommend it to other youngsters definitely definitely yeah if you're 13 in three months should come